My name is Stefano Cotrufo and I'm a plastic surgeon in central London, Harley Street. The purpose of uh, doing a tutorial about uh, markings before uh, performing an upper blepharoplasty, on one side uh, to have uh, uh, a demonstration on um, how to achieve uh, symmetry and uh, how to avoid complications, in particular removing too much skin. On the other side, uh, I think it's very uh, useful for uh, other patients that uh, are uh, willing to go ahead with this procedure and uh, they need to understand uh, beforehand what the procedure involves. I prefer to do the markings with the patient standing, but some colleagues of mine instead prefer to do it with the patient that is uh, instead of lying flat. Initial marking is with the eye closed. If you could close your eyes, please. Thank you so much. So that's uh, the moment where I uh, select the crease that I prefer the most, where I can uh, uh, have my bottom line of incision. This is uh, an excellent crease, which I'm marking here. The second reference is the punctum. If you can open your eyes and make sure that uh, my initial marking extends from the punctum. Can you close your eyes? Honey? Thank you so much. Open again. This is the punctum. Close your eyes. And uh, that's the position of the punctum that I marked already. And then uh, the outer cantus, which is the outer corner of the eye. Can you open your eyes, please? And close your eyes. That's the second reference. Excellent. So then uh, I perform a vertical reference line that gives me an idea of symmetry. And then I ask the patient to close the eye again, and then you open. And this is the pinch test, which is essential to close your eyes. Open. So now I have, uh, if you could close your eyes please honey, thank you so much. Now I have a, a very clear upper edge of my excision. And the next step would be to find uh, the left lines. Usually there are three left lines on each side. I need to have an extension of my uh, excision that uh, enters in the best left line. So in this case, if you could turn your head towards the left, you smile please. Smile, smile, smile. This is, seems to be the left line that is more marked, but she also has a smaller one here. So if you close your eyes now, fantastic. So here my excision will extend into the left line in this direction, which seems to be perfect. Thank you very much. And. Uh, towards uh, the inner cantus now. Keep your eye closed. There is an extension that uh, goes uh, towards the nose that uh, is essential to be removed. So now we have again, if you close your eyes please, thank you so much, we have the crease that uh, will allow the scar to not be visible when the eyes are open and that represents the bottom edge of the excision. We have the upper margin of the excision that is being uh, measured with a, a pinch test. We have uh, the extension into the line. We marked the punctum and then uh, this is a, a call it bureau triangle that extends towards the nose in order to avoid that. If you open your eyes, she doesn't have uh, this excess skin uh, as a bulging. The last thing that we might consider, but that's uh, the decision that we do once we have a uh, excised skin and then a light muscle, is if we're going to remove any prolapsing fat. 
if you close your eyes again, there is a chance that this uh, medial pocket here will be in excess. And if that becomes uh, obvious, once it reveals itself, then we'll decide if we excise it or not. All right, now we repeat the same on the opposite side. <laughs> Each side we have uh, specific features. So on the right hand side, and now it becomes obvious that she has more skin hanging uh, towards the outer canthus, so the lateral aspect. But instead, uh, on the left hand side, uh, there is less skin in the lateral compartment, but the fold uh, reaches more uh, medially towards the nose and at uh, this point. So let's say the excision of skin is not going to be exactly symmetric. Okay. And uh, this is again the point where there is uh, some uh, fat prolapsing. So the, the last stage before uh, starting the procedure is to double check the markings because that's a crucial part of the planning. So I use a caliper uh, and I rely very much on, uh, on this application. I uh, do everything in order to achieve good symmetry. Close your eyes, I want to check the distance between the eyelid margin and uh, my bottom incision which corresponds to the crease and uh, I would like this to be at least uh, 8 millimeters. So in this case, in this case it's right in the middle part of the eye where my marking is, I have 8 millimeters. And if I double check on the opposite side, it is exactly the same, probably eight and a half. But that's where the crease is, so it's not something that I can change. The amount of skin that I excise in the central part on the right hand side with the minimum tension corresponds to a bit more than uh, nine millimeters. This is uh, just above 10 millimeters. And applying the same tension on the opposite side could respond probably to nine millimeters and a half. Today I showed you how to do the markings for uh, upper blepharoplasty. And uh, obviously different uh, uh, surgeons will uh, use uh, different instruments. For example, they might keep the patient standing or sitting. Uh, the important is that we are comfortable with uh, what we're doing in that moment. The target of the markings, however, is uh, uh, based on, on one side, uh, try to achieve the best possible symmetry. And uh, for this reason, it's very important to use all the instruments available to uh, repeat measurements and confirm them again and again. The second target, of course, is to avoid complications and uh, in particular, exercising too much. And this is one of those uh, procedures where uh, it's better to think uh, to possibly excise too little and then uh, remove a bit more rather than uh, excise too much because the consequence would be very severe which means that the patients cannot close their eyes. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you find it useful. And uh, please don't forget to follow me on Instagram in case you wish to know more about my plastic surgery service and in particular if you wish to see my results, which of course I'm very proud of. <laughs>